Hey folks, welcome back to another episode of Power of the Force Fridays. We've got a very special one this week. This is my original R2-D2. This figure, this actually physical figure here. I do have another one on display on my Power of the Force 2 shelf. But this is the figure I got some 30 years ago. Almost very close to 30 years ago. He still holds up strong in my in my collection and we're just going to zoom up on him a little bit it's it's still an absolute joy to have this thing in my collection i've never let him go i i was very lucky as a kid a lot of my star wars figures from when i was a kid actually got stolen um and r2d2 was one i didn't i managed to not get stolen you know i was i was young naive um, I've told this story a lot of times. I had a friend who said, you know, he wanted to he wanted to borrow the Star Wars toys, and um, being the kind younger younger kid I was, I was probably a couple of years younger. Um, I said, yeah, sure, you know, play with them on the weekend, and because that was from memory, you know, he just wanted to play with the Star Wars toys on the weekend. He didn't have any of his own, and I thought I'll, I'll be nice. And then uh, come come the next time I saw him. Um, he basically just played ignorant, pretended he didn't have them, and I never saw them again. So some of my originals, like Chewie, Vader, Luke, C-3PO, um, Stormtrooper, Darth Vader, there were quite a few um, that uh, I yeah didn't get to ever see again, which absolutely gutted me as a kid, and uh, that was probably my first instance of knowing there are people out there that aren't aren't as nice as they appear so you know a little bit of innocence was robbed of me that day but um you know i still hung on to this little guy as long as i've been alive <laughs> since then um you know he's come with me a long way it's uh it's a nice it's an, still a nice r2d2 you know he's got the, the sort of vac metalized chrome on top he does have the the awesome feature of the light up eye with the uh, the glow in the top you see you get a torch light over the top and his eye glows which was just the coolest thing you know the Jawas had it um, and that was just something that really excited me as a kid and then yeah just loved R2-D2 to this day so he is a um, this particular figure on the video here, like I said, this is the one. This holds a lot of sentimentality to me. Um, so I keep him displayed with, with another figure that is really sentimental to me, um, which is a Bendem's Obi-Wan. Um, and I will tell that story one day, why why the Bendem's <laughs> Obi-Wan has so much sentimental value. Um, so, I, I just display them together. Maybe I should get a small acrylic case to keep them in. Um, and I may actually even never even thought about it up until today. So that's something I'm definitely going to endeavour to do. Just just a small little case just to keep him in. You know, hopefully I can get a peg and a stand in there. You know, whether I pop his leg down or not, which is quite tough these days. It's still tight, like. The sort of middle leg still goes down, his head still spins nicely. You know, this guy's had some playtime. He has had a wash over the years. It's probably been a little while, so there's probably a little bit of a, you know, discoloration from, you know, finger oil, you know, just the oil in your, in your hands. Um, so yeah, a, a nice hot soak in the bath and a little bit of a scrub up just to clean him up. You know, I've never been too precious about that. I know a lot of people like to keep them, um, you know, dirty as they as they grew up and played with them. But, um, you know, I'll, I'll do that if I buy figures in a loose lot or something on eBay. I'll come home and give them a good, good, give them a good wash and a scrub and, you know, make sure there's no other kids gunk and dirt and stuff from, you know, other kids playing with it and sticking it in their nose and all that kind of thing. But, um, yeah, it's still just... This means a lot to me, man. Like it does. It's uh, that's why I decided to finally showcase this one. I just, I just sort of deciding, getting together a bit of a plan for, 
the next few weeks of Power of the Force Fridays, and I just looked at it, and I thought, that's the one. That's got to be the one. So, yeah, this is the second one back, coming into Power of the Force Friday, you know, trying to make it a weekly thing again. Um, yeah, R2-D2, had to, had to do it. I, I just I just really love this R2. I know by, by today's standard, it's not the best. But, I mean... The vac metalized is a very, very rare thing. I know apparently it isn't all that viable to do environmentally wise, but um, <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. But um, yeah, something I've always displayed him with his foot in. I don't know, I just liked him sort of standing there. I always found that scene where he does the where he does the old sort of wobble tantrum. I love that bit. I love that in Star Wars. It's just. Classic R2, Kenny Baker inside, just rocking side to side. I just think it's a really nice, really nice representation of R2-D2. So that is why I chose this one for this week's Power of the Force Friday. I hope you've enjoyed it. You know, there's a lot of history with this particular figure. This one, you know, like I said, on my Power of the Force shelf, I do have another R2-D2. Um which it's the same one but it's not this one this is the sentimental one um so yeah i keep him safe and sound he's always been kept separate from all my other power of the force figures and everything else so yeah that's that's my r2d2 from when i was six <laughs> i'm now 35 so i might have i may have been seven six or seven so almost 30 years you know, it's hard to remember exact dates. The older I get, the further away those times are. But, um, yeah, I have a lot of good memories of, of my Star Wars toys as a kid. So He sits proudly on display. And uh, I thank you all for, for tuning in. And we'll be back. Got, 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 got some good ones planned for the next few weeks. So I'm definitely going to do a bit of batch recording and get some videos ready to go for the next few weeks of Power of the Force Fridays. Thank you all very much for tuning in. Plenty of more videos and stuff throughout the week in between. But um, yeah, until next Friday, for more Power of the Force 2 goodness, the Force is with you always.